Bitcoin historically has been a pretty volatile asset, obviously, right? As someone who has dealt more with uh, maybe traditional equity markets or things like that and manages billions of dollars for clients, how do you get individual clients comfortable with that volatility? Um, well, you have to size it appropriately. So that's one of my issues. In my core fund, if I put a 4% position and, the, and the, it grows to 20%, I have to probably scale it back so that I can calm down my investors. Uh, so what I tell people, if you're a Bitcoin maximalist, come into my Bitcoin fund. If you're in my other fund, let me size it appropriately because it will be volatile. Um, but you guys know this, and I think there's some historical perspective necessary to share here. All these Medcalf law network effect investments, they start out in the early adoption phase with mega volatility. Why? You've got all the fuddy-duddies and the ancients shorting it, disbelieving it, shorting Tesla, shorting Amazon. Amazon's going to miss its number. It's 1999. Let me short the goddamn thing. And they create the volatility. Same thing happens in Bitcoin. You know, we hit an air pocket uh, with Elon Musk and China. Bitcoin's at 65,000. It's at 29,000. I've got clients lighting me up. And you guys know this. Everybody's a long-term investor until they have short-term losses. When they have short-term losses, they set their hair on fire. They run around in a circle. And so I, my, one of my jobs is to be the financial and psychological coach. I've got to tell people, calm down, uh, stay the course. We have a five-year plan or a three-year plan. And I'll just point out, because I think it's worth mentioning, if you were an early investor in Amazon, uh, you know, just think about this for a second. The IPO of Amazon, May 15th, 1997, a $10,000 investment is now worth $21 million, $21,140,000. However, you would have had to subject yourself to eight periods of time where it dropped at least 50%, one period of time where it went down 85, and the Barron's newspaper had a front page article, Amazon.bomb, the age of this internet retailer is over, but the cat that made Amazon, Jeff Bezos, he shot himself into space in his own rocket. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Do you want to be patient and look at something like Bitcoin and see the exponential growth of wallets and the scale and understand the value of the network effect of those properties associated therewith and stay patient and watch Bitcoin eclipse gold in terms of its market capitalization? Or do you want to trade it and get juked out of it at the wrong moment and do what non-psychologically minded investors do is they sell lows and they buy highs? And so to me, I got to get in the face. I got to get in. I have to grab the face mask of my clients and pull them close to me like a good coach and say, stop it. Get your emotions out of this thing. This is a revolutionary asset. This is digital waterfront property. This is digital energy that is going to transform the world. And over the blockchain, we are going to delayer our society. We're going to take third party intermediaries out of the society. It'll be a cost savings. It'll be ecologically friendly. There'll be quantum benefits associated with this. And you can own a piece of this property today at a very attractive price. This is you and me, Pomp, going to Miami Beach in 1921 and buying oceanfront property. Facts. 